Hi guys! Good afternoon! And I am back for more videos. And today's video, I will just wanna read all your comment. Um, forgive me if I can't read all of them. I just wanna say thank you and I will respond to the questions that you have on the comment also. Um, so, let's start! And I just wanna let you know guys, um, it's been a while since I make a video. I'm really sorry. Um, I've just been busy. I have a regular job and, and the COVID hit and whatever, you know, and uh, yeah, financial situation. So I have to make an effort of working, you know, like that. Um, so yeah. And thank you so much guys for always there for me and for always supporting my blog. And I hope that you guys can share and more. Um, share all of this video that I made to your friends or to your um, the people that you know that need some advice and everything like that. It will, I really highly appreciate it. Um, and I hope you guys are doing good wherever you are. And I appreciate you guys so much. Even though I was making video for a long, long time, you're still there for me. Um, it's really melt my heart to hear that you guys really believe on all the words that I said. And I'm just, I was just literally saying what I feel and what I learned because I'm from there in the Philippines and all based on the experience that I see and you know the people that I know of and my neighbors or whoever they are you know that's uh that's why I make all of this video to just give you guys a heads up and I'm gonna read some of your comments guys I hope that you guys won't get offended because I mean everybody can see your comment anyway um, okay so I'm just gonna start to um, comment of Jeff Muller, I don't know how you spell that, but okay. He said, "Hi, Yuli. Thank you for your insight, intelligence, and strong set of values as a full professor. Soon retire with a doctoral degree. I freely admit that education is overrated, yet it's it exposes you to new ideas for better or worse." I will retiring in Negros with my beautiful Cebuana girlfriend as soon as the PH let me come. Then maybe we can start exploring the 7,100 islands. That's great. Yeah. Um, I'm glad to hear that, you know, that's, that he found a woman that he can spend the rest of his life too. Hopefully. Um, yeah, you guys should explore the freaking Philippines. It's awesome. And I literally want to go, but oof, I don't know. I'm waiting probably around January or February to go there. Um, hoping for for them to no quarantine anymore. It's just a lot of mess and everything like that. It's like right now you have to quarantine in the Philippines for 14 days. No, 10 days. And then the rest you have to stay at home for, you know, isolations or whatever. Um, but that is a lot of expenses, guys. And some of, like, I literally read a lot of these on the Facebook page. And they are actually cannot be together in the same room. Some of them. Some of the hotels, they don't allow a couple or a family to be in the same room. And um, if you are not a minor and you are with your parents, you have to have your separate room or something like that for quarantine. It's a lot of mess. Oh gosh, yeah, that's crazy. Okay, let's go to the second. Um, comment, which is I cannot. Um, well, I can't read his name, but he was just like, okay. And this one, his name is John Allen. Okay, it's a week ago, the comment. Woo, that's a long time ago. Okay, I was with a Filipina for 10 years. I really loved this person and still do after being separated for 70 years. Although I still miss her, I know we could never have a 
future, when I first met her, she told me she was in 70,000 of death. Like that. Um, I was really stupid because I thought if I tried to help her, she would work hard to get herself out of the mess she created for herself. I work full-time hours and have my own car and house, so I'm always busy, although I didn't want to work overtime. I did. I was working over 50 hours a week to help her. My ex-partner didn't give a damn about me because she only works 18 hours a week and never did anything for me. Um, I, I would always stick up for her when she needed me to end, got into many an arguments with others to protect her. When I complained to her about how hard I was working to help her, she would always say, I say you should give from the heart what a crock of shit i guess you really have to wake up and realize when someone is just using you for what they can get i will always remember her until the day i die and don't think i will ever love someone the same way i love her i just think you have to listen to your brain sometimes rather than your heart i'm gonna give a likes on that one Mm, that one too well yeah well, I agree I mean like that's why in the first of my video I always say don't be fooled with the beauty you know um, sometimes it's really hard to um, know a person you know like usually they have half of their attitude, personalities is nice enough for you to be falling in love with her. But also sometimes half of her attitude, it makes you wanna like throw up. <laughs> but, um, well, that's nice that he will love, you know, love her for the rest of his life. But I think at this point, you just gotta just let it go, I guess. I mean looks like she that's not she's kind of a selfish or something I don't know. it's crazy okay let's go on this one Wilfredo Cordoba one week ago okay thank you for helping guys that don't understand how things How things works oh you're welcome um i mean i know um no actually it's not necessarily this video is because i'm helping you guys because you don't understand how things work no it's actually the proper way to that is i'll just help you guide you to the darkness that you're facing because you are i mean the the darkness that you're facing because you are not there yet i mean you're just starting to face it and you don't know if it's dark or light so i'm giving you a hint <laughs> i'm giving you an idea and hint and tips so you will not be in the dark hopefully well it's really hard if you go to asian country it's really hard to be on that situation like most of the time you will get rip off and uh, you be pulled by the beauty and of course we're just humans you know but at least the hopefully through my um, videos and tips you guys will be able to balance that like um, do I have to listen to my heart do I have to listen to my intuition you know you can balance it or do I have to you know listen to all the red flags that I heard or I listened to before or something like that I mean I love so much to give an advice and um, insight to people it's not only for the relationship it's also for helping others if I can um, it's because I always wanted everything is supposed to be right or I mean I believe on right thing to do is good work 
or something. I have no idea. Um, but yeah. Okay. This person is David Ayoti. Your auto is too low. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm still, I mean, I'm, a, I'm not a professional video photographer or whatever. Uh, big you grapper so, so whatever you call that so I'm still learning um, so if it's too low I'm sorry um, I guess I'll just make it better maybe next time <laughs> um, yeah um, okay this person is saying okay Danielle Hackney, Hackney, one week ago. Very good video. I hope men listen to your advice. I noticed many foreigners listen to expat men living in the Philippines. But if you really want to get the whole story about Filipinas, we all need to hear directly from them. No one knows a Filipina better than a, another Filipina. There are some good Filipina channel out there, like you, Liz. I wouldn't take advice from the Filipina channels where the girls are shaking their ass in a bikini it might be entertaining but their advice is usually self-serving i'm gonna like give a like on that no maybe a like and love um thank you so much for that that's wonderful actually um yeah it's kind of a true because like as you see i am making a video not often it's i'm not here to make money for this i'm just i mean i have an ads there but just maybe you know like i don't know i just it just i just put the ads there but i mean obviously i'm not making money for this um it's because i don't make video every day um it's because the purpose of my video is to give an advice it makes me happy I guess um, makes me happy whenever I ex you know like try to give advice to people and able to help um, I think helping others emotionally financially or whatever it is um, in the right way I think it's good um, just don't help financially if you are um, get riff up or something just choose wisely I guess yeah but that's a wonderful word um thank you um yeah it's actually my advice and i mean my word on this is yeah you should you should listen it's not i'm pretty sure there's a lot of uh, other filipina blog out there you should listen to someone that you think is genuine genuinely um telling you the truth about everything what's going on outside your comfort zone it's not necessarily just um you know my video or whatever um, but i appreciate that thank you okay this person boys and grills a week ago his name I had to laugh. A friend of mine dated a Filipina here in Manila. During the first three or four months, he took her to all kinds of restaurants, steaks, house, Korean barbecue, Japanese authentic, Italian, and so on. One evening, I was sitting with them at Starbucks, and he asked her where she wanted to eat. She told him to decide, but he asked her of all the places we have been, what was your favorite? Her eyes lit up, and she says, Yes, she so happily said, Jollibee, I love, he just shook his head, ha ha ha, well, I don't know what's the point of this comment, um, I don't know what's the reaction, <laughs> I guess, okay, <laughs> uh, it's funny, um, I kind of like this, <laughs> but soon guys, I'd, soon I'm gonna make a real videos, I have some videos I want to make for you guys um, so stay tuned okay this person he said his name is Jerry Fitzgerald Fitzger or whatever sorry my 
I'm still learning on English, so how I read names is just woof, all way off the hook. Okay, so. <laughs> well, he says, my, hi, my name is Jerry Fitzgerald. And I am 60 years old. I want to live in the Philippines and meet and marry a nice Filipino girl. Here is my email, blah, blah, blah. I hope you can suggest where I should live in the Philippines and where to meet a nice Philippine girl. Thanks. Keep up the great videos from Jerry Fitzgerald from Pepperell, Massachusetts, USA. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Jerry. You are... Jerry Fitzgerald. Um, okay, so my advice on that one. Mm, you want to live in the Philippines and find a nice Filipino girl? Okay. Um, I think it's best for you to start looking now. Um, right now, it's really hard to... Um, okay, I'm going to... It's really hard to find a... Um, think right now it's really hard to find a Filipino in the Philippines is because of our economy is crashing it's because of this COVID-19 or whatever um, everybody right now is probably desperate of having money I have no idea what's gonna happen but it's kind of like everybody is starving there's no job so if you are a foreign man if you want to go to the Philippines once they lifted the travel ban I mean the travel for the tourists and stuff like that you gotta be very very careful because most of them I mean like most of Asian country right now is literally desperate for money um, so I think it's gonna be both ways either it's good or bad because I mean they're desperate to have money and they will rush into their um, decision like if you're courting them they're gonna rush into decision and they will just throw themselves to you and they're gonna say yes I'll do everything just love me and bring me to your country or whatever um, or you can find and you get lucky you find one that you met and it's actually she's desperate to go with you but she's also genuinely wanna change her I mean it's it's easy for you to change her into you into what you want for future with her because she's desperate of good life or something like that um, so it's kind of like a bad actually um, so I will suggest if you guys want to go to the Philippines or in other Asian country right now you gotta very very careful like I mean as always I always say just go there for fun go there for fun and take it slowly easy because if you don't look for that right one it's actually coming to your way but if you rush into that finding that right one for you that's when you become making a wrong move because I mean once you when you look for it you encounter the bad one but if you don't look for it you have time to you know like have fun but same time looking for that person so it's like slowly learning the person slowly learning the women slowly learning the culture um, just explore be happy and have fun and don't rush into those kind of stuff um, especially now it's is, I mean, if I'm a single man, I want to go to the Asian country, I will just have fun because I'll be scared right now. Once the lift of the freaking uh, travel restrictions, it's going to be scary because they'll be jumping all over people. <laughs> I mean, all over you guys. Uh, they'll be like, ah, marry me. Woo. And you'll be like, yes. And then you bring them to your country and then they're like, oh, bye-bye. So yeah, sad to say, but it's probably what's gonna happen. So just take it slowly, take it easy. Um, if you wanna live in the Philippines, retire there. As he says, he wanna live in the Philippines and meet, marry a nice girl. A nice girl is always, there is a lot of nice girl in the Philippines. 
because I, whenever you say nice girl it's a lot of nice girl but what we're talking about here is she nice enough to taking care of you is she nice enough to stick with you is she nice enough not to just take your money that's the problem <laughs> and suggestion where you live in the Philippines I will suggest um, in the province area don't live in a city um, I mean each city has the province like I mean country um, side so you go to the countryside and you just have a car or motorcycle I don't know and then you just go to um, buy stuff maybe once a week um, you know go in the um, grocery shopping once a week or something like that and then bring it to the countryside and have a peaceful life um it depends also like if you want if you're kind of person that you like to party every day well i will not suggest that but i mean if you like to party every day then it's really hard for you to go in a province area and then not to be in the middle of the bar or whatever uh, sports bar or whatever you do um, but i mean i think it's still nice to live in the outside the city and then you just go if you want to have fun um in the city once a week or once every three days or i don't know something like that um yeah uh but i think uh cebu city is the best for me and mindanao um I would suggest um, Manila, but Manila is crazy. Um, I will never suggest Manila. Um, not in my lifetime. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you can go to maybe province of Bohol, um, Cebu City, south or north of Cebu. It's nice also. They have a, like, a lot of nice beaches there. Um, they have maybe a little bit cheaper um land that you can buy i mean you cannot buy it but if you have someone that you can buy it with or a corporation or whatever um but yeah um i suggest you live a little bit far from the city it'll be best for you away from all the mess <laughs> um where to meet a nice girl mm. I always say if you want to meet someone you always make sure that they are they grow up a professional person or um, they grow up from the countryside province girl um, even though there's two ways on those like most province girl will be they will continue to be like those attitude and grown they grow up as a country girl um, they will carry that wherever they are no matter how much changing they adapting things in the city um, then they will still carry those values that they learn from the province um, or if you got the so there's two ways not big if you got um, the province girl that is fresh out of the province um, and she just get out of the province and she's shocked because she met you and you have money and boom she become different person so I suggest meet a person that is already in the middle not in the city or not or, I mean she's from the province but she is already no she already been adapt she adapt the city life but she still have the values of province or country growing up girl i think that's the best do not get the innocent one that from the province because either they're gonna freak out they become different person or they become a spoiled brat or they become status without even knowing what that is so I will not suggest that. Okay, this person he says, 
Mm -hmm. I don't know if she is a he or I think she's a she. Ruby Berzuza. Who are you to say that most Filipinos do not know the value of money? You criticize your fellow countrymen, even generalizing, and then you praise yourself. Hmm. Well, I'm not praising myself, first of all, and also I'm not criticizing my countrymen. I'm just speaking on what I see on bay and daily basis i mean no offense i'm a filipino person no offense but half of my fellow filipino people are very materialistic that's why i don't think they do value the money and because because they never save money if they save money they save it for a good brand clothing shoes um, whatever iphone number one iphone right now or whatever latest freaking shoes or just all i can say they just always follow what is new it doesn't matter if they're good or bad always followed it so they always have that status so the status ruined them because the status, if they see it, oh, there's a new latest thing here today, blah, 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 this what, uh, this this week, this month. Um, let me freaking save money and buy this stuff because, I mean, I will look cool because I have this and the others doesn't have it. So I'm not criticizing my countrymen. I'm just saying that it should be changed. I mean, I can't change the culture, but... I think if you're a real Filipino and you value the cultures and I think cultures also means you also respect others and by respecting others you do not take advantage by you don't you don't take advantage on other people you know and I think those are the good values of Filipinos that it should be carried on, you know, because I cannot, nobody can appreciate that if you, if you met someone from other country and you're like, you have money. I'm going to marry you for your money. I'm going to take everything and then leave your ass. So that is... A big no-no I mean that's not a Filipino culture that is a selfish disrespectful no manners kind of values there is I mean like literally what kind of human will do that I mean I understand that most of the uh, Asian country or uh, Philippines is starving to death but you still have those you still are human you know you're still a human so you still have those respect and values that your parents taught you you know like no matter how starving you are don't steal better us I think that's it you know and of course I mean like most of the Filipino probably they will ask for money and stuff I mean I wouldn't understand it at the if you're married already or if your girlfriend and boyfriend for a long long time and your boyfriend also see your situations i mean he does you don't even need to ask him i mean like he will feel bad for you and he'll give you something you know um it's just because it's melting his heart and seeing you that you're making a lot of effort your family is making a lot of effort you're working hard you know but then if you are uh, um, a Filipina and then um, you have 12 siblings and your siblings are sitting at home even though you can literally do anything anything just to gather money I mean I don't care what kind of job is that I was a laundry person and our neighbors and stuff like that I did everything I take the kids to the school to carry the bags just make freaking 10 peso I didn't give a shit as long as it's money I mean, uh, as long as you work hard for it, you know, you can literally do that. But if you have a 10 siblings and they're just sitting at home, they have 
family already, but they don't have a job, and they know that you have a foreigner boyfriend, and they're just like keep asking money, 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 money. Then I will be like, no, mm. he's not a cow, or he's not a horse, or he's not a ATM machine, or he's not a bank. You know, even if he is, he's not. You guys are not his responsibilities. I'm the one his responsibilities. If we're married, right now, not yet. See. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. I think I'm going to make another videos of more stuff. Um, this one is just to enlighten you guys and just to say hello, I'm back, and saying thank you so much for all of you. I cannot read all of this comment, but right now, I mean, but if I have more time and I have spare time, I will read more comments and just to say what I feel about your comment, um, um, how I feel about it, and you know, um, how thankful I am that you guys are actually uh, believing on the words that I said, and um, I appreciate it so much. And stay tuned to my next video, and please subscribe to my channel again, and to those already been subscribed, thank you so much for staying on my channel, and Please share this video with your friends and Facebook or everywhere, Instagram. I don't know what you will do. Um, I will highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on my next video. This is Yuli again. And thank you and stay safe, guys. And I hope that wherever you are, you're safe and happy. And I know it's kind of like uh, over the, the cloud right now is going on. But we can get through this and we will be fine. We went through this already for a year. We can make it be another year and we'll be still strong and God is always with us. So bye-bye and see you next time, guys.